Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <gasps> yes, indeed, folks, I'm playing a video series videos I've been doing for a little while now. I go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink the stuff, then, folks, I'm going to talk about stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that the time I'm doing this, folks, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't originally intending to do this as a review. This was just going to be part of my lunch, but review opportunity. Reviewnity! Sure, why not? We'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there and try out food in or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. Folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing today? Boom! It's my Pulse Man shirt. I love this shirt. The only thing, like, because... Pulse Man, by the way, in case you're unfamiliar. Uh, Pulse Man was a, it's a fairly obscure Sega Genesis slash Sega Mega Drive game from the 90s. Uh, it was actually created by Game Freak Studios, who famously would go on to produce the Pokemon franchise, which has made like $800 billion. Uh, this was like an early sort of thing for them, and it was kind of a little bit of a Mega Man, cl Mega Man clone, but they did their own things with it. Very interesting. Fun game, has flaws, but very neat, plus a lot of the, like, the different mechanics that they had were super cool. I love this shirt. I think it's very neat. It's just got the, the logo. The only thing is, I wish there was more Pulse Man, like, stuff available. There actually was a really cool, like, Pulse Man design shirt online available, and unfortunately it's no longer around. This is pretty much what you can get, but I do really like it. And if you ever get the opportunity, by the way, absolutely check it out. It is a very fun game. Uh, over here in America, a little bit hard to do so because it never came out on proper cartridge. It was only available on Sega Channel. But you can go over there and find, you know, repros and stuff. You know, people have put it on a cartridge. That's what I did. Anyway, what am I trying for you today, folks? Why was it not originally intended to be a review? Well, I reviewed a couple things from... Boom! Sonic! And I reviewed their peanut butter uh, bacon shake. And then I also reviewed their peanut butter supersonic double cheeseburger. Because they had a whole peanut butter bacon thing that they were doing. And I was like, okay, that's fine. But I just wanted something like just an offshoot thing for myself. So, we're reviewing, boom, Sonic. Can we get a thing? Oh... Can I kind of get a thing? Boom! It's chicken fingers. Can we? Yeah, we'll just do it like this. Ha 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 ha! Yeah, there, it's uh, Sonic chicken fingers. Because I was like, fuck it, chicken fingers. Now I got the combo for the three piece thing, and it was eight bucks. These are chicken fingers I got. I mean, okay, but like recently I did a review of Raising Canes. I did some of their their chicken finger review. Definitely more impressive chicken fingers. I also did a review of a place called Mr. Brost. Way more impressive. So, I've never had chicken fingers from Sonic. Let's see how they are. Like, to be fair, it's all about the flavor. Even if they're a little bit, you know, kind of shrimpy. Decent coating. I like the crunchiness. Chicken's nice and tender. Chicken tastes pretty good. Uh, yeah, okay. Um, I mean, I'm not going to lie. These are pretty much just kind of slightly better than bare minimum chicken fingers. Like, they have a little extra flavor, a little extra personality to them, but not much. Like, you can tell that these are not, like, a, a highlight item on the Sonic menu. Uh, these are just, you know, hey, sometimes people like chicken fingers, chicken fingers. But they are cooked well. I mean, there's something to be said for that, for sure. They're not bad, but... They definitely don't have much personality. They are fairly basic. Um, and it's just the fact that, like... I mean, you're paying... Now, and again, to be fair, it was $8 for the combo. So, I got... 
the chicken fingers, french fries or tater tots, I got tater tots, and I got a drink. So it's, you know, but I was definitely expecting a little bit better. Now, I am going to go over there and also add in, because of course you get your, you know, your choice of sauce. Boom, I got some honey mustard sauce. So we're going to try the honey mustard just kind of by itself, sort of see how that goes. And then we're going to try some with the chicken fingers. Maybe that will be the key to unlocking their flavor. Wow, that tastes exactly like White Castle honey mustard. If that isn't, if they don't get it from the same place that White Castle gets their honey mustard from, then... Because that is very, very similar. Uh, it's sweet, it's tangy, it's a honey mustard. It's a fairly light, like it's, you know... It's not a very thick honey mustard. Um, yeah, okay, yeah. It's not bad for what it is. Again, it's very reminiscent of the honey mustard from White Castle, like almost exactly. And uh, yeah, I do like that with some chicken rings. So, sure, why not? Yeah, it basically works pretty much the same as the chicken rings from White Castle with the, the honey mustard. <laughs> Except I will say, I think that the chicken rings from White Castle have a little bit more personality than these do. These might be better prepared. I'll, I will, I'll give them that, because, I mean, the chicken rings, you know, they're, they're fucking chicken rings, but they are delicious in their own way. These... There's nothing bad about them, but there's nothing great about them. And to be fair, they're fast food chicken fingers. But, to be fair, again, in just, you know, fairly recent times, I have had chicken fingers from two places that are basically fast food, Raisin Cane's and uh, Mr. Brost. And those were actually, you know, pretty solid. Um, yeah, I mean... This is kind of the problem I run into with Sonic. Because, like, up until last year, in 2023, I had never been to Sonic. Uh, you know, it's just not a place that, like, there's a couple around me, kind of, but you have to drive to them a little bit. And I really just started going there for the reviews. And, yeah, I mean, two questions have to be asked. Would I get these again? Would I recommend them? Probably not, and... <laughs> Probably not. It's just a thing where, again, it's like, and I, I don't want to, like, come down like I'm harshing on Sonic or anything. They're a fast food establishment. They kind of get a little bit of, like, an extra boost because it's, like, the drive-in thing, you know, and I have seen some people who are like, oh, no, you know, Sonic is way better than most fast food places. I don't agree. Everything I've had from Sonic has been fine, but it's also been very fast food fine, you know, it's not doing that much to go over there and break the mold, you know, it's like, yeah, it's cool, they got the drive-in aspect and the whole thing, it's kind of neat, but fundamentally it is about the food, and I haven't had anything from Sonic that's really impressed me, you know, it's all just fine, they have some fun ideas, and I know, like, their drinks are a big thing, which really I need to get into at some point, um, although I did do a milkshake, like, I don't think they're a bad establishment, but I do think that, like, the idea of them being kind of a little bit more upper tier in terms of fast food places, I don't know that that's really deserved. Because these were some very, very basic bitch, you know, chicken fingers. They were, again, they were prepared well, so nothing against the staff or anything. They're working with what they got. But it's just like, again, when you have other options... Why? And that's kind of where my head is. Like, if I really want some good chicken fingers, I'll go to Mr. Brost, or hell, I'll even go to Raisin Cane's. Like, their chicken fingers aren't amazing, but get that with their special sauce. Maybe if Sonic had their own sauce, like Sonic sauce, you know, but there's just nothing really for them to stand out, and they're just... And then on top of that, the price? Mm. But if I'm recommending them, 
I mean, they're like if you're going through Sonic anyway, maybe you have kids or something that want to go over there and get some. There's nothing wrong with them. They're fine, but you know, again, like if you want proper chicken fingers, go to a proper place for chicken fingers. These are just they're on the menu to be there. Sorry, Sonic. Anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, money rest of your month, spend this rest of your folks. Go over there, have yourselves a proper, proper chicken finger tastic rest of your life. Or hell, just go over there and get yourself a fucking big old bag of chicken rings from White Castle. Pretty much the same difference, and you get a lot more. Uh, where was I going with that? File two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated, but. What you do if you can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Folks, it's not always the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and bullshit, and sometimes we have to deal with that. You know? And when we do have to deal with it, it's important we go over there. Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe, <laughs> maybe you're going to go over there, maybe you're going to see my review, maybe you're like, you're, maybe you're like just about to go over there and you're like, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go to Sonic, I'm going to get me some chicken fingers. But just before you leave, you decide to watch my video, and maybe you're over there and you're like, wait a second, if that fat guy wearing a Pulse Man shirt isn't happy with those chicken fingers, maybe I ought to reconsider. I'm just saying, because when I can, hopefully my reviews work towards some level of consumer advice. I don't know. Uh, but, again, you know, and I'm not saying let's all harsh on Sonic, but like, hey, you know, the only way that Sonic might change is, you know, hey, if they notice, you know, our chicken finger sales have dropped off after this fat guy wearing a Pulse Man shirt did his review, uh, maybe we ought to go over there and amp him up. Maybe we ought to go over there. You know, it doesn't even have to be like, let's make them super big or anything. Maybe nice if they were bigger. You know, but I mean, like, let's get some special seasoning. Again, let's get some Sonic sauce. Let's do something to make them a little bit special. Or conversely, get them if you want. I ain't going to tell you what to do. You know, just watch the review, make your own decision. Bye.